people, when you think of this class, obviously you've got uh, Doc Emmerich from the broadcasting side who's been around and it's just a great historian. And when you think of Doc, you think of the history of the game and what he's seen. And we had a chance to talk a little bit about that history. So he's been he's been there for the growth of the game and and uh, and how the NHL, by the way, has evolved over the years. And then you have obviously uh, Chris Chris Chelios, who is an unbelievable specimen. Still now, I think he can still play. But you remember his coming up as a youngster, playing in the Olympic team. As, as a teenager in uh, the 1984 team, uh, coached by Lou Vero, and and, uh, and and where his career has gone, and, and then you you get Keith Kachuk, uh, you know, from my area of the country in the East, and and uh, we had so many excellent players coming out of um, areas that you, you would say, okay, fine, the area is great, but. What did we do to train these great players? Well, they trained themselves to a lot of degree, and they had some great coaching along the way. But uh, um, that that talent, uh, Keith Kachuk, amazing talent, um, and obviously uh, suitors, like the famous Suter family, and Gary being part of that great family and representing uh, American hockey from the Olympics, that family to uh, now the NHL. Uh, moving forward. So, I mean, the whole class represents where hockey has moved over the years, both not only in terms of USA hockey, but also the, the hockey in general in the United States. So it's, a, it's really a, a great class representing the growth of hockey in the United States. The group that's going to just change change the whole way you look at USA Hockey Hall of Fame. But these guys, uh, you know, Chelly and Suits and Keith, uh, they were awesome to play with. I mean, Probably three of the toughest guys I've ever played with, ever played against. Um, you know, all captains, captains of, in their own right. They were the you know the guys that I followed, and, uh, guys that I looked up to, and uh, a lot of good times on and off the ice. And you see Doc Emmerich, who I think is absolutely the best announcer in all of sports, not just hockey, but in the game. Uh, this guy is um, he, he's true class. He epitomizes. Um, Know, everything that you that you want in a, in a person, and I love Doc Emmerich and, and uh, Ed Schneider. Who uh, I mean, can you say enough about Ed Schneider? I've, uh, I've uh, loved him since the Philly days, and uh, just glad to see him getting his recognition in the way it deserves. But uh, no, these guys, whether you played on their team or whether they played on a USA team, uh, it was the same thing. And it, they, you know, I talked about their leadership. Um, you know, Chelly was a captain, Keith was a captain, Gary was an assistant captain. Um, there wasn't there wasn't better leaders than this, these guys. Uh, they talked the talk, they walked the walk, uh, but they are they are ferocious competitors. Um, they took a lot of pride in the colors. Uh, the USA colors are very very important. Uh, you know, Chelly is a very very proud guy. We call him Captain America. There's not too many guys that have played as long as Chelly has and has represented the USA colors as, as well as he has. But uh, um, and I don't know if there's been many better captains than Chris or Keith. At least not in my day, so I'm proud to know them both and of all of them and have played with all of them.